What's up girls and boys? What's up internet? I am Bianca and welcome to another Urine Chronicle Rising video where we will continue off from where we left off in the previous episode. We sure did go through a lot together. We sure did. We have finally unlocked the quarry. We have finally unlocked the smithy and leveled up our equipment. We have finally gotten our first accessory and we have finally gotten our first companion among other things. We also got our silver stamp card to have nine stamps on it so we're one stamp away from getting our first reward which i think we'll still have to wait because i think we still need to unlock the uh trading post which we haven't yet because based from the screenshot that we got during the tutorial that told us about this uh prize exchange thing or stamp exchange thing the one that was pictured there is hogan you know our friend that we helped in the first um episode when we first started out the game the one that we helped from the bandits the lizard dude um, wearing an Indiana Jones costume who wouldn't want to be Indiana Jones we're not really in the heart and meat of the game yet um, we have learned a little bit more about CJ in that uh, she uh, wants to get a bigger treasure than that of her father because that is some that is something that is required of their uh, family to do to be initiated into uh, their I, I suppose their family job uh, but apart from that we still haven't gotten to where uh, this game story and that of hundred heroes which will be coming out soon. Uh, actually connects and that is something that I'm really looking forward to knowing that's that's what I'm kind of that's what I'm here for we also got a little bit of an upgrade when it comes to the battle systems can system because now we have two characters and we can switch them out on the fly uh, CJ you can use her if you press uh, at least in the PlayStation if you press the box button and then you can s immediately switch to Garou by pressing the trial triangle button and if you time that right you can execute a uh, link attack so those are the things that we've learned and we've unlocked in the previous episode now in this episode we will be continuing on with our exploration of the query and hopefully hopefully unlock more stuff in the town in new Neve. <laughs> So, uh, previously also, we made use of the tavern and the bats in the inn. Um, we've slept, so we have to go back to Outlander Lane and back to the inn to try and... Or not try, to actually get the boost again. So for levels, CJ is at level 9 and so is Garou. Um... These are their stats, so I think... Can we upgrade a bit more? We can upgrade, actually. So let me just upgrade these. I don't think we actually will get enough money. Um, I'm not sure if we can make use of the bats now since I've used up Urbaqua. Oh, we can use. Purchase 200 bakwa. You think that after helping them set up, that we will like um, get freebies from this? I set you up. All right, how about a freebie? Okay, so for now, I'm gonna go and pick. I'm gonna still gonna pick the party's luck because I want to get them as strong as possible. So now that that is done. Let's head back to the quarry. Let's waste no time in getting back to the quarry. You again? The road's still blocked, you know. Won't be long. Guru here is going to clear it up for us. Well, that would get us out of a bind for sure. You have an explorer's license, Guru? Here. That'll do. That'll do. I'll just open her up. It's the male guard. They look the same. So, did you have to go around getting stamps too then? Do I look like some kind of stamp collector? No, that doesn't sound like... Uh, how do you... Uh, like, 
Guru is a kangaroo, and he should have an Australian accent, but again, my Australian accent, it's... It's non-existent, I think. Um, do I look like some kind of stamp collector? That's not... That, that's really not... I don't want to offend uh, my Australian friends and viewers with this. You, you want to have bricks for brains to waste time on that. I see. <laughs> you see what? You don't know? <laughs> don't think I'm the one with bricks for brains. You forked out a hundred thousand baku for it, didn't you? As if. I've got this magic pouch, don't I? Magic? So that's how you could hide, hide that massive sword in it. Where'd you get something like that? Ah, this old thing. Got it from some old, old blue furball. Not important. Old blue furball. Sonic! Sonic? The hedgehog? <laughs> Pretty handy for carrying gear around, especially if you're camping. I've never heard of anything like that before. Still got, learn, got a lot to learn about the world, I suppose. Let's get a move on. Yeah. Yeah, let's get a move on. Enough dilly-dallying. Let's get, let's get as far as we can for it. Another cutscene. Strike first. Win first. Magical... <laughs> Magical cutie missile. What the heck? What the? Who's there? Stay back, scoundrels. You've come face to face with New Devay's very own guardian peacekeeper. What? Guided by the ruins holy light, it is I, Mel Melior? Melor Melior? I'm gonna go with Melior. Ardent defender of love and justice. Melior, a magical girl who's been waiting patiently for her turn to make it big. As it turns out, magical girls are highly sought after as adventuring. <laughs> so magical girls exist in this world. Good to know. Huh? And you go around defending love and justice by blowing holes in walls, do ya? Wall? What are you- Oh, crap. <laughs> then she runs off. <laughs> what just happened? Beats me. Last thing I need is another brat to babysit. What was that? Nothing, nothing at all. Oi, you two all right? What happened? What was that noise? This girl just appeared out of thin air and fired some sort of magic at us. We dodged it, but it hit the wall. She what? Oh crap, there's a hole in the bulwark. We have to close it up or monsters will reach town. Oh, that's bad. What a pain. Anything we can do to help? Hey, if you're feeling generous, keep me out of it. We have to see that if uh, we have to see to it that fiends don't make it to the townsfolk. Sorry to ask, but you, would you mind fetching the materials we need to? It's one fetch quest after another. That's not this again. Yes, this again. I think we could fill it up if we had some stones. Oh, I have a lot of stones. All right, I'll have a look around. How many stones do you need? Some scavenger you are. You forget why we're here? What about that humongous lens, eh? You happy enough to just let some other jelly leg Joey get their hands on it first? No, but what about Priya and Yum Yum and all the other townsfolk? Can't just let the fiends run loose, can we? Yeah, what about Jean, Guru? What about Jean? You got the hats for her, right? <laughs> uh, fine, we'll take a brief detour. Brief. Yeah, very... You're not carrying any resources now. We have stones, we can actually get the... We're missing one. You've gotta be kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me. We're like... We're being derailed by all of this fetch quest. Five minutes later. Okay. Prairie? We're back. Think this is everything you asked for? We're back. <laughs> like what? You're a lifesaver. Here, have a step. Sarth Sarthak. So now they have a name. Oh, so that's our tent. Do you really all do? Uh, do you really do all that work just for a few stamps? And what if she did? Good way to protect the town and see to it a guard gets their dinner. You've heard about the so the sorrow, I'm sure. If something like that were to happen again, our jobs would be the first on. 
The sorrow. I haven't actually heard about that. The sorrow? What's that? You don't know? A ruined golem laid waste to the town, as the story goes. Well, before us mercs got here, mind. Ruined golem? Those things that protect the rune barrows? You've seen one yourself? Never heard about it. Uh, about them from my folks, though. Apparently, a bunch of townsfolk volunteered for an expedition down the barrows a long time ago. Get attacked down there. Some of them managed to escape and rustle up a search party. When they went back in, though, no one else had survived. The mayor led the whole thing himself. To this day, he's the only body unaccounted for. Oh, mayor. So the current acting mayor is... Isha? She's his daughter. Lost her father to these boroughs, she did. She's only young, but already you can tell she knows what's what. The bulwark was her was all her idea. Few people wanted to go back in find, uh, to find her dad, but she uh, wouldn't have it. Prioritize the good of the town over her own family. That's one way of looking at it. Could she? Could be she just just really just thinking about you guys, and all you could think is that she's cold-hearted. Oh, I am offended. I'm sure it wasn't a choice she made lightly, mate. Yeah, forget I said that. All right, clear off. I'm gonna shut the qua uh, shut the quarry for now. What? Wh why? Exactly. Gotta seal this up, Dombi. You can come back tomorrow. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm sorry to think I'll never get into this place. So this is it for today, huh? First thing tomorrow morning, be ready. I'll meet you at yours. Wow. Okay, so that's our tent stamp. So what else are we gonna do now? Guru, wait, what do you mean be ready? I know it looks small, but me and these holster axes have come a long way. We're always ready. <sighs> you really are a baby, aren't you? The smithy can make your weapons and armor stronger, yeah? Can I assume you at least know that? Yeah, I, I do know. We do know that. We've already done that. But strength ain't everything, mate. A weapons shop and an armor shop would have upgrades that'll make it easier to move about. With upgrades like that, you can fight better, explore further, all sorts. How much better? How much further? Better you just see for yourself, mate. I didn't see any stores like that back in the town, though. Not yet, no, but I heard plenty of folks have been uh, down around Outlander Lane looking to set up shop. Huh, I mean, if it's all really as good as you say it is. Come on then, let's see who we can find. Oh, we'll be unlocking more things then. Okay, let's go. Go at the plaza. Because that's the quickest way, I think. And he is still drunk. I'm not sure what his deal is. Okay, permission to trade, Bertrand. An Outlander Lane. Okay. So, Outlander Lane it is. So, the trading post is gonna be unlocked. Which means we can finally get our reward, I think. Okay, Bertrand. You there, adventurer. Are you we are your weapons giving you any trouble? I've got a name, you know, CJ. As for weapons, I wouldn't be opposed to an upgrade if someone was kind enough to offer. That's what I'd like to hear. Just as I suspected, this town is in dire need of a weapon shop. I am Bertrand, knight of great renown with the keenest eye for weaponry in the land. Perhaps you've heard tales of my bravery when in service of the Margrave, countless warriors fell before my might. One such encounter with the general of a great nation was particularly unforgettable. Our swords slashed endlessly, but soon his blade shattered into shards. Only a swordsman with a keen eye for weaponry could have... Bertrand, was it... Listen, I'm kind of in a hurry, so if there's something I can help you with... Oh, um, <clears throat> yes, of course. Excuse me, I'm looking for the acting mayor. I need permission from her to establish my shop, after all. Do you have any idea where I might find her? That's odd. Isha's usually pretty easy to spot. I'll track her down for you. Okay, how do we find Isha? There. You can find her there. Where exactly is that? Residential district interior? Yep, residential district interior. Great work, detective. Okay, speak with Isha. Isha? Yeah! <laughs> oh, it's just you, CJ. Do you need something? Not me. There's a guy who's looking to open a weapon shop. He needs to run it by you first, apparently. Uh, I f 
I had a feeling it was him. Okay, understood. Please tell him I'll meet with him soon. I have actually already spoken with him. Or rather, he spoke at me. I lost half my afternoon waiting on him to get to the pool. <laughs> yeah, because he talks so much. I had heard he would return today to discuss opening a weapon shop, so I decided to keep myself busy elsewhere. You really have to lighten up, Isha. Okay. Let's go and report to Bertrand. That was really quick. It's still a fetch quest, though. <laughs> it's still a fetch quest. Okay, Bertrand. I found Isha and let her know you were waiting to see her. You have my thanks. To think I could be aided so valiantly by such a young lady. Have I told you how, when I was young, I was rescued by an elvish maiden of rare beauty? Okay, I've got lots to do, so if you wouldn't mind stamping this card for me, I'll be on my way. Oh, yes, um, uh, yes, of course, here you are. So that's our 11th stamp. Cool, cool. <laughs> this cutscene again. Level up! Nice. The weapon shop is preparing to open. 500 Bakwa received. That's great. That's fantastic. Um, um, the weapon shop. Upgrade your weapons by making them move uh, more lightweight and easier to use. Unlock new attacks in the process. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Pulsar S and then Reveling Tanuki S. And we run up out of money again. <laughs> wow, you weren't kidding. I feel I could do magic tricks with this thing now. So what's next then? Armor, right? Wow, we're really speeding, speeding through opening up... Um, opening up these shops. Wow, that's m much better. Easier on the wrist, too. I should give them a good name. Oh, we can ch change. Uh, fairy. Fairy. Break. Let's add an apostrophe S. Okay, use this name, Fairy's Break. Now that's what I call a reveling tanuki. Feels only right to give it a good name. Oh, this is so weird. Uh, break. Break shot. Let's go with that. Really don't really have any choice, much choice in the names. Um, charge attacks. Holding the attack button will allow you to charge your power and unleash a charge attack. While powerful, you will be vulnerable to attack while charging. Use with caution. Okay. Frida. You, you're CJ, the scavenger's kid, aren't you? Oh, um, yeah, that's me. I'm Frida, hoping to be the owner and operator of this town's official armor shop. Little Isha was kind enough to let me have this place, but, well, you tell me, kind of a fixer-upper, wouldn't you say? Frida, a lively, likable, high-spirited armor, dr armor drawn to New Neve for its potential as a vibrant new town. Luckily, the adventurers were in need of an armor when she arrived. Little Isha? Well, yeah, looks like a lot of work, all right. Right, so I've been thinking about a big color change. Problem is, I'm not sure where to get my hands on paints. Yellow, pink, cause you know, bright and cheerful colors. Couldn't get them in the city though. I thought about searching the Great Forest, but that's no place for a... Oh my god, we're going back to the Great Forest. Are you kidding me? Are you, are you actually kidding me? Look, Marissa, I've been in that place before. But there's no place for a lady like me. Paint in the Great Forest? I don't know about that, but I'm happy to go take a look for you. Well, rumor has it there be there might be a somewhat mysterious stash somewhere under the caves. Under the caves? Hmm. 
Hmm, probably on the other side of that giant rock, maybe. Did we see anything down there? We've already visited that place. But yeah, let's go. Great Forest, I'm not wasting any more time. We must go deep into the forest. Ooh, give him the money. Oh no. I was trying to get the pot. The place free dimension must be just ahead. I didn't see any paint down here. Okay. What a critical hit. And down he goes. There you go. Uh, okay, let's go here. I think it's this way. Oh my gosh. Oh, we, we haven't gotten here before. Critical Bomb. So this is temporarily increased critical hit rate. Okay. There's something there. Time to clean house. Uh, link attack recovery. After successful link attacks, it will take time for them to become available again. Listen closely for the recovery alert sound. What is the sound then? Consumables. Potions, bombs, and medicines provide healing effects and time-limited buffs to the entire party. This buffs do not stack and only one item can be active at a time. Okay. <gasps> it's another boss. Oh, what? Is it really a boss? That was quick. It doesn't feel like a boss. Also. Before I actually get that. There you go. We have to make sure that we got everything. Because we might end up getting teleported back to town. Paint received. Or not. We can just... I'll use CJ because CJ's faster. Okay, signpost, fast travel to the forest approach and head right back to um, Outlander Lane. We're really breezing through today. go. You're right, there is paint in the great forest. Seems like someone was using splashy colors to mark areas in the cave. Wow, <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted. We'll make, a uh, we'll make a stylish store of this old dump yet. Wait, you do have a stamp, don't you? Oh, I almost forgot. How rude of me. Here you are. Twelve stamps. Nice. And this cutscene again. Also, we leveled up. Armor shop is preparing to open. Herbs received. 500 back were received. 500 experience received. The armor shop. Increase your freedom of movement, your defense, and the amount of actions you can perform by upgrading your armor at Frida's armor shop. Okay. Let's do this. So this will increase our defense, our, our magic de uh, defense power to 42. And unlocks two point jump. So like double jump? Oh, Guru can now parry enemy attacks. So that's why we don't have a use for his R2 just yet. Whoa, it's so light. I could do backflips in this. Now you're ready, mate. It'd be nice if we could get some potions and stuff. Oh, we're gonna, are we gonna open up the item store now? Well, Tatar did say there were a lot of people in the plaza who were looking to open stores. 
Won't know what they got to offer till we go and speak to them, I suppose. Wow. Uh, two point jump. Give yourself an extra boost. Uh, extra boost mid jump. Use the skill to reach and explore areas that were previously inaccessible. I can't really remember if there if we have encountered that a place like that. Parrying. There is a unique skill. Enemy attacks can be neutralized. Use this skill to your advantage in combat. Cool, cool. So we have the inn. Okay, let's go to the plaza. Maybe it's the drunk dude. It's the, no, it's uh, this. Uh, Navia. Say, say, you're CG, aren't you? I am? Who's asking? Navia is my name, and I have something I need help. Uh, see, I need some help with. I need you to go grab me some beast pelts. I could do that, sure, uh, but what for? It makes some warm clothes for uh, for the colder seasons. It gets mighty cold down here on account of the winds from the snow peak. There'll be plenty of people looking for warmer clothes come winter, you'll see. Sounds important. I'm on it. Right here, Robert. Excuse me, miss. Could I ask you something? Huh? Me? You look a little thirsty, you see. Would you care to try a special beverage of my very own creation? There's something odd about this guy. How about this? Try it just once, run one lap of the town, and I'll give you a stamp when you get back. A stamp? Just for that? That's mighty nice of you. I think we have a deal. Ha 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 here, drink up. You just become a guinea pig, a test dummy. Once you're done, why don't you try running over to the edge of the residential district? After that, head on over to the Outlander Lane. Let's see how fast you can run. Uh, okay, sure, I'll be right back. <gasps> I've still got it. Okay, head to the end of residential district. So, I wonder can we just teleport or do we actually have to run all the way there? Like, I feel like if we teleport, it might not work because they did say to run. And I don't want to waste my time doing this again. Where was I supposed to go next? Outlander lane? Okay, let's try just... For the sake of it, for the sake of testing it out. Oh, we don't really actually need to run all the way through. Huh, was this path always here? Is this Second Street? Better go find out. So we've unlocked Second Street. Second Street, an expansion of Outlander Lane allocated to deal with the never-ending influx of adventurers into the town. The apothecary and other stores can be found here, as well as a bunch of colorful individuals with interesting pastimes. Okay, there's Robert. Wow, where did all this come from? Nice location, right? This is my apothecary. And you're my very first customer. That drink was one of my homemade potions. So that's what was that uh, so that's what that was about. I did feel stronger after drinking it, alright. Sure did get some funny looks while I was running though. Of course you did. I told everyone to watch out for their favorite adventurer, say from the brink of exhaustion, exhausted by yours truly. What? The brink of is that why some of them were crying? Poor hardworking adventurer girl. If only there was a cure for exhaustion. Well now everyone knows there is. Mine. <laughs> They'll be lining up for miles to get their hands on the stuff. Come along now, and I'll get you your stamp. How dare you use me like a promotional billboard? <laughs> I'll never get uh, never get tired of seeing that short cutscene. The apothecary is preparing to open. Slime generally received. 500 Bakwa received. 500 experience points received. Apothecary. Stock up on healing medicines and all manner of fortifying balms here at the apothecary. Like, I, I think the only reason they're giving us money is this so we can actually buy these things. Power bomb, defense bomb. Okay, I want the healing potion. Uh, let's go with two. Okay. Achievement at Lauk on Outlander Lane. Is that for unlocking all the shops? Alright, think we're finally ready to go. Tomorrow. It's late already. I should get some rest. The quarry will still be there tomorrow. 
<laughs> 100 experience points obtained. Catch that girl. I I'm guessing we're supposed to catch... Uh... Okay, squash. Squash is here. Um, but, yeah, I think... I think we can squeeze in whatever Squash wants us to do. Squash, what are you doing here? Why, this is my accessory shop. Here I was preparing for my grand opening when, would you believe it, I realized that I had misplaced my appraisal spectacles. These I am currently wearing cannot be trusted to gauge the glimmerings of any given artifact, fashion over function, you see. That sounds like a real pickle. A pickle, indeed. A particularly sour one at that. I cannot possibly open for business without those spectacles. I don't suppose I could trouble you to look around them for me on my behalf. I'm quite sure they are in town somewhere. Sure, leave it to me. I will do just that. Okay, let's check. So it's in the plaza. I think. I think it's in the plaza. Uh, hold on. Yep, it's in the plaza. So we just... I need to check. Ooh! Uh, we must gather weaponry, so this is... Mine for ore. Chest. Okay, so we've got a lot of quests open to us now. I wonder where the spectacle is. Um, Avon. You okay? You look kind of sad. I found some odd looking glasses on the street earlier, so I put them on and looked under a rock. There were a whole lot of bugs. They looked huge and all they were all shiny and slimy. Blah. Glasses? Shiny? Don't suppose you'd let me take them off your hands, would you? Gladly, you can have them. Thanks. Okay, so let's return to Outlander Lane. I picked the wrong Outlander Lane, but it's a short walk to Second Street. And to Squash to hand over the spectacles. Were these the spectacles you were looking for? The very ones. Simply impossible to discern in this Persian in tiny gemstones without spectacles such as these. With this, the preparations for my grand opening are complete. Allow me to stamp your card for you. Fourteen stamps now. We're racking up those stamps. <laughs> I love that. So there is our accessory store, or shop. 500 experience just for finding those glasses. The accessory shop. Enhance your abilities with a variety of beautiful accessories ready to be equipped. Okay. Pioneer's pendant. Drop rate. Rare item drop rate. Currently unavailable. Why is it... Craft. Okay. Uh, mining skull up. Uh, mining high tier stone. I think I would like this. <gasps> Wait, I have to craft them first before I, I I can actually use them. Uh, equipping accessories. Changing characters' equipment can offer a range of benefits such as enhanced status, luck, and many others. This can be done by navigating through the main menu as follows. Yeah, we've already done that before. Oh, I thought, I thought we have to craft them first, then we can actually buy them. But in reality, we can buy them the moment we craft, or actually get the item the moment we craft them. That's good to know because. It would suck if we have to, like, craft and then buy. Uh, but anyways, I think we have done enough for today. So I think this 
is a good place as any to stop for today. So we have opened up the apothecary, we have the accessory shop, we have... Um, what else have we opened up? I feel like we've done a lot of today um, and there are a lot more that we can do but we um, oh yeah we've also uh, unlocked the armor uh, we have unlocked the weapon shop so those are good and we've learned we can actually name the weapons that we craft so that's actually fun even though there is a limit to what we can actually name them we can't really type the name we have to choose from a predefined selection but you know, that's also kind of interesting to add because in Suikoden, the names, we can't really buy weapons in Suikoden. Uh, we can upgrade the weapons, and the more we upgrade the weapon, of course, the stronger they become, but their name also changes with every, uh, I think, five levels or so, uh, something like that. But um, yeah, for the next episode, we will be completing the other uh, requests as well as the main quest, which is catch that that girl um, but for now this is as far as we're gonna go so thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode until then you guys know the drill dream on fly on bye bye for now keep safe everyone thanks again for watching